I'm Dwight Smith with Needec Machine Tool America, and this is a Needec Gear Tech Minute. All shell type hobs have indicating bands on either end. It's imperative to indicate the hob on the arbor before manufacturing gears. You should indicate both ends of the hob on the arbor within 5 microns of total indicated reading. Make sure that they're in phase within 2 or 3 microns. I prefer 1 micron, but that's not always achievable. It's possible to have one end of the hob running out, which will create a good involute on one flank and a irregular involute on the other flank. If both hobs run out, in phase or out of phase, you can have irregular involutes on both flanks. It's good shop practice to indicate the hob every time you mount it on the arbor. Thank you and see you next time.